from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Hello and good morning. I'm James Tully. We'll check in with Greg in a moment to see what your Friday forecast looks like. First, topping off our headlines, President-elect Joe Biden has unveiled a $1.9 trillion coronavirus plan to speed up the vaccine rollout and provide financial help to struggling individuals and businesses. It lays out a vaccination plan to meet a goal of 100 million shots at the end of his first 100 days as president. The proposal also includes sending an additional $1,400 to most Americans and boosting unemployment benefits. To the latest COVID-19 numbers in Florida this morning, we're seeing a troubling trend. More people are being hospitalized across the state. Take a look at this chart. For the third day in a row, there have been more than 400 hospitalizations. Last week, we saw the highest number of new hospitalizations since mid-August. The state also confirmed more than 13,000 new infections and 217 more Floridians have lost their lives to the virus. Here in the Bay Area, 2,500 new cases were reported. Almost 1,000 of them were in Hillsborough County. Polk had 406 cases, Pinellas 385, Pasco 260. St. Pete's lawsuit against Five Bucks Drinkery has now been dropped after the owner announced he was changing his COVID-19 protocols. The bar should reopen today. The owner says he's hiring a new security team to help enforce the mask policy, plus naming a mask manager on staff to keep an eye out for people who aren't wearing one. If someone doesn't have a mask, they'll provide one. Plus, customers will only be seated served rather if they are seated. St. Petersburg College wants to help you put food on your table. This morning, the school's giving away boxes of food to families in need as part of its effort to honor Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s legacy. You can pick up food at the college's Clearwater or Midtown locations between 9 and 11 a.m. This rescued bald eagle will be released back in the wild today. The group of kids in Pasco County found it last week. The eagle had a hook through its beak and was tangled in fishing line. Veterinarians at Owl's Nest Sanctuary and Bush Gardens have helped care for it. They say it only had minor injuries. Great news. Let's head over to Greg with a look at the forecast. Hey there, James. Hello, everybody. A really nice start to the day today. We're going to be a little chilly early, but temperatures quickly climbing to the low 70s by later on this afternoon. That's all thanks to an increasing southerly breeze, and you'll really feel that wind pick up. The later we get in the day, the breezier it'll get with winds eventually gusting 25 to 30 late in the afternoon. We are going to start off with a lot of sunshine, but I do think late in the day clouds start to increase. And that's when the chances for rain will increase as well. Notice by one or two, about a 20% chance of showers doubling by four and increasing further after four o'clock. So you'll need an umbrella for the evening hours. That all brings cooler weather for the weekend. Take a look at your forecast in our app.